starting our session uh, that is the lipometrous pancreas. Now I told you in lipometrous pancreas I will be having uh, a high ecogenicity uh, in the pancreas and the pancreatic size will be increased and uh, if I am having a high ecogenicity Now over here, first the types. Now the pancreas overall, overall, from top to bottom, from right to right, left, overall is increased. That is the diffuse fatty infiltrations, you can say. But the point here is that sometimes I am having some places where this fat will get accumulated. Now, for example, if this fat will get accumulated in head, then you can easily confuse it with the uh, maybe an uh, CA over there and point number two is that if that pancreas will get inflamed in future it will look like a normal pancreas so a normal pancreas in a patient who is already labeled with this diagnosis is not normal but an inflamed one this is the point over here <coughs> Now see over there in this picture, what you can see, I told you, your pancreas will be more ecogenic, more ecogenic as compared to the normal pancreas. It is more ecogenic as compared to the liver, but here it will be having more of ecogenicity. Now imagine if this part is having a less of inflammation, uh, fatty deposition, it will look like a mass over here. So it is just like the liver. Uh, fatty deposition or speared area. So know that there is something which is called as lipomatous pancreas and if you are having this lipomatous pancreas, let your patient be aware of that she or he is having a lipomatous pancreas. Now in acute pancreatitis, next. In acute pancreatitis, what will happen to the ecogenicity first? Will it increase or decrease? it will decrease. Now it will decrease and it will be looking like the ecogenicity of which organ? Liver. liver. Here the scale is liver. So if your pancreas is not more ecogenic than liver, that is a hypoechoic or maybe a inflammation is already there. So here the scale is the liver. I have to compare it with the liver. Now See over here, this is the pancreas. This pancreas, when measured, we have already <coughs> measured this and we know 30, 15, 25, 20, the measurements will increase. Plus two, you can see that the ecogenicity of liver, this is liver, of liver is almost equal to the ecogenicity of the pancreas. So this is a hypoechoic and inflamed pancreas. So this is pancreatitis. In this pancreatitis, why not, why not <coughs> the pancreatic duct will be dilated? <coughs> yes, pancreatic duct can be dilated in case of uh, the uh, acute pancreatitis. Now the causes. The causes are more, about a half gallstones. In half of the patients, the underlying cause is gallstone not the alcohol. So if it is not gallstone, then it is alcohol. Where the gallstones will be? In gallbladder? No, they have descended down. And they are obstructing now the lowermost part of the biliary tract. There, what you will see <coughs> in addition to pancreatitis, which organ will give you a signal that you are on right track? Uh, gallbladder. Gallbladder will be over distended or over distended. Now what will you see in liver? In liver? Radicals will be dilated. So whenever your liver is giving you a signal plus two, the gallbladder is over distended. Why not the CBD is also distended? Why not the pancreatic duct also dilated? Then there is a stone distal. Then that is obstruction. If it is not obstruction, then it can be something very dangerous by that to see. But 
in most of cases it will be the obstruction. So in pancreatitis, if you are suspecting a pancreatitis, search for the stone. But what will make you to search the stone is the liver. Now I am scanning pancreas. Now I am talking of liver because liver is the mirror. If liver is having the dilatation from the biliary tract, plus two, the gallbladder along with the CBD is dilated, then stone, the obstruction is lowered out. It means that this pancreatitis is due to the stone which is obstructed somewhere at the ampulla of water maybe. So then the cause can be the alcohol and others are contributing for five to 10 percent only. Now what you will see over here again, you will see an inflamed you, uh, and increased uh, pancreas. Size are already discussed. If it is more than, then I am dealing with an inflamed uh, pancre pancreas. <clears throat> now see, this is the pancreas over here. Pay attention to ecogenicity. Not only the uh, size, but the ecogenicity. Ecogenicity is dropped and size is increased. Say again, a hypoechoic and increased pancreas. Now, I told you that uh, there can be uh, dilatation of the pancreatic duct also. Don't confuse the stomach because if stomach is collapsed, now see, what is stomach? Stomach is here. That is why today we are trying to get from you the stomach. If stomach is having a very minimal fluid, very minimal fluid, stomach is here, it will look like some dilatation over here. If it is pancreatic duct, it has to be in center. So if it is above, above the pancreas, then you are dealing with a collapsed stomach having some fluid over there. So see for these uh, uh, stomach over here and see how the pancreas is looking like. It is less ecogenic than liver. So this way you can see uh, for this pancreatitis. So this pancreatitis again showing you dilatation. Now see, dilatation of the pancreatic duct. So try to get the pancreatic duct. I have already uh, directed them to get a picture of the pancreatic duct and normal voila. So see for the dilatation and if increase and uh, if dropped in the eco uh, text uh, genicity, then you are dealing with an uh, pancreatic uh, pancreatitis. Now in a chronic pancreatitis, what you will expect in a chronic pancreatitis? Increased, decreased ecogenicity. Decreased or increased? Increased with some calcifications. Now imagine the picture. My job is to, you know, uh, extract an image from your mind and if your imagination matches with the picture then we are on right track. So there will be an increased and more importantly there will be small small calcifications am I right? Now imagine how the picture will look like. Is this what has you imagined? Now this is the chronic pancreatitis. In chronic pancreatitis, I will not expect much of the size increase, but I will expect an increased ecogenicity with the calcified foci. See over here. It is very much increased with, uh, you know, uh, calcifications all over. Now there is something which is called as uh, uh, endoscopic ultrasound. It is uh, like your TVS. That is uh, a small uh, ultrasound on an endoscope. So here the clarity is much more better than the uh, conventional ultrasound. Now complications of pancreatitis. In complications, we are having phlegmone, pseudocyst, abscess, and hemorrhage. In a phlegmone, what is a phlegmone? What is a phlegmone? What is a phlegmone? In phlegmone. I am having many bacteria over there and these are gas forming bacteria, gas forming bacteria and there is a lot of gas in that area, in the pancreatic area. Whenever I put a probe in a 
to a gaseous uh, you know uh, space or a place i will get a lot of scattering so i will see a very 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 dirty pancreatic shadow so yesterday there was a now try to understand yesterday it was a simple pancreatitis i was very easily getting pancreas because it is inflamed increased in size without any effort the pancreas was popping up doctor see how much inflamed i am without any effort and today the pancreas is gone kahan gaya kahan gaya ye yahi pe to tha kal and today you are not getting pancreas at all that is what you are dealing with phlegmon i have no picture to show you understanding so here you will not see pancreas if pancreas has gone to heavens so called in inverted commas then you are not dealing with anything but the phlegmon now sedo cysts of the pancreas in sedo cysts the term itself the sedo it is not a cyst it is a sedo cyst is the collection of the fluid it is like a sedo gestational sac of the ectopic so this will be the picture like and usually these cysts are located uh, in the head area so if you see uh, if you are dealing with a pancreatitis case and all of a sudden you see a fluid collection over here you are dealing with that uh sedo cyst over there again the sedo cyst where in the pancreatic head so there will be a free fluid over there and there will be no echoes that is very important there will be no echoes and it will be clear fluid and the walls will be ill defined there is actually no wall so this is the fluid collection in the head area that is the sedo cyst so there are other cysts also uh other cysts uh, not only the cirrhosis but sometimes i am having the cystic neoplasm uh, of the pancreas where i will be seeing many cysts but here i don't have any history of pancreatitis this is endoscopic ultrasound now congenital abnormalities in congenital abnormalities there can be simple cysts polycystic there can be cystic fibrosis ectopic implanted uh, tissue annular pancreas and lastly let us discuss this pancreatic uh, adeno this uh, carcinoma this carcinoma is usually 90 if not more percent in the head of the pancreas 